Morning guys, I'm gonna go do some DoorDash, uh, some Uber Eats, some um, Instacart, etc. this morning and go make some scratch. I know plenty of you wanted to see the Solo going around town picking up food and dropping it off. Uh, plenty of you, I'm sure, are considering getting the Solo as a delivery vehicle. Starting out with like 85% battery. It's uh, 6.30 in the morning and our first stop is Burger King. It's 1.8 miles for $5.50. So let's pick this up, drop it off, and we're on to the next. Just got the BK. Short drop off distance shouldn't take us but a minute. By the way, yes, it wasn't just a drink, there was also a bag of food. Oh man, I can't show you the DoorDash map right now, but you see that road right there? It splits these two apartment complexes into two completely different complexes. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and see if we chose the right one. And slight correction i believe i was at 86 percent when i originally said i was at 85 when we started not a big difference but i do kill it while i'm just chilling here because why not and i know a lot of you guys already know but the economy is in the shitter so if orders are few and far between the ones that do come in are no tip for a large amount of miles and understandably i guess a lot of these people are hurting for cash themselves i think dash pass is like 12 dollars a month you get free delivery um, and no extra charges or something like that. Uh, so it's it's pretty easy to make the decision for them to not tip, especially when they're hurting for cash themselves. So you're seeing a lot more of that lately on the apps. Um, not just ODash, many people are resorting to these lines of work to supplement their income. As I said, economy's doing really bad. M money machine going burr for so long can only, can only hold out for so long before we see the repercussions of that. So here we are, right? But we did just get an order to McDonald's just right now. Uh, and I wasn't really proud of taking it. It was five, it was five dollars and fifty cents again um, for three miles, three point five miles. So I accepted it, and as soon as I accepted it, it actually gave me an add-on for half a mile for five bucks. So it makes it a little less miserable to take this one. So let's go grab it. I'm gonna try to show you guys the dash as many times as I can to give you guys sort of a live update as we go. I'll also be providing uh, a Stride GPS tracker uh, to track my mileage a little bit more accurately. And that way we can get a better idea as to how we did today. Oh, but here we are, McDonald's, second stop of the day. We got two orders to grab. It's usually pretty crazy in this one, but it looks pretty slow. We got pretty lucky. Looks like our orders are already ready. Also, while we were waiting, we got pinked for Grubhub two miles for $7.20 or something like that. Not bad, we'll go and grab that. All right, we'll go drop these puppies off and it's off to Black Rock Coffee for Grubhub. And the longboard obviously is multi-purpose, so that's nice, it kinda helps to keep things secure. All right, first drop off. Okay, these guys want it under the carport. And look, they got a little cage already set up. All right, we are on to the second part of that DoorDash we're order right now. Quick five bucks for half a mile, not bad. The second one is gonna be $5.50, I believe, for the rest of the mileage. And like I said, on our way over to the Grubhub, and we'll see what we get from there. All right, off to Grubhub. And also, they just hit us with an offer to add on another Black Rock coffee order. And it was like 3.2 miles for $5.30. So we went ahead and declined that. Did want to mention that we did decline a acceptable Uber offer of $6 for three miles. Uh, but I was in the middle of doing other stuff. So couldn't really attend to that. Just let the next guy get it. All right, we are at Black Rock Coffee. Let's go inside and grab what we need. And while we were waiting on this Grubhub order, uh, we were actually able to snipe an Instacart order. Uh, 20 bucks for 24 items. As you can imagine, the uh, drink orders can get a little interesting in the solo. Uh, not exactly an amazing way to secure drinks in here right now. I know there's a couple of drink carriers you can go out and buy, but I haven't done so. It's about 7.30 and 79%, not bad. Okay, we just dropped off the Grubhub coffee order and actually before I was able to get to the Instacart order, I accepted an Uber Eats delivery. So that's going to take us pretty much to the Instacart order. So no dead mileage, that's always good. All right, here's the fries we're supposed to shop out and the Taco Bell. 
Bell we're picking up from, from Uber. Alrighty. Drop this puppy off. Taco Bell off real quick and it is back to finally get that shopping done. And believe it or not guys, it's only 7.57 in the morning and it's not even 100 degrees outside and my phone's already starting to slow down because it's overheating. Uh, just one of those things I guess, running five apps and then a uh, GPS tracker in the background, it definitely can have its toll on your phone. It'll be nice to get inside and let the phone cool off in the grocery store. It'll start to respond better to everything that I do, all my inputs. All right, let's get in there, let's do it. Always a good time. And I'll take as many clips in here as I can, but definitely like to be efficient when I'm here. Usually have both my hands full, grabbing as many items as I can in each idle aisle, that is. So like I said, I'll get as many clips in here as I can, but I try to be as efficient as possible so I might not get that many. All right, stopped by produce and grabbed everything we need. Next stop is the bakery. And wow, yeah guys, I actually just got an add-on order for Instacart, which is like one of the rarest things to happen. Uh, three miles, I think 13 bucks and six items. So yeah, definitely took that. Um, so we're gonna have to separate the groceries and we'll have to separate them in the car and everything. That way we don't get mixed up and all that good stuff. All right, you guys, and call me crazy, but I just got an add-on, not an add-on, I apologize. I just got an order request from Grubhub and it was 0.6 miles for $8.50, I believe. So we're going to leave that grocery cart for groceries and uh, come back for it because Instacart is honestly one of the worst platforms ever to the drivers. So I'm happy to put it on the back burner whilst Grubhub, treats all of us with the utmost respect. So yeah, we're gonna go get that done. It's right across the street from this Taco Bell and then I'll be right back. Yeah, they just respect us as uh, as drivers much more than any other platform. So I'm happy to do things for Grubhub. Just to briefly summarize why Instacart is terrible, these customers can add as many items uh, onto the order after you've already accepted it as they want. There's no limitations to that and it doesn't exactly bump up the pay very much at all. And furthermore, these customers can claim that something wasn't delivered whilst you've taken a picture of it and have a receipt. Staff doesn't really care. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day, man. The customer can just claim that a grocery didn't show up. And even if you took a picture of the item at their doorstep and had a receipt to prove it, Instacart staff just doesn't care. They're not going to reverse it. And the more negative reviews or missing items you get from customers, the lower your rating falls. And once it falls to a 4.7, you lose access to most batches. So yeah, definitely don't care much for Instacart, but sometimes they feed me. So sometimes I do stuff for them. I'm just gonna drop off this Taco Bell and we'll go back to the grocery store. Okay, man, what a detour. That employee was so damn cool. He put my shopping cart in the back freezer area for me uh, while I did my thing. And uh, there's a sign on the door that said, no shopping carts in the back room. So homie broke the rules for me. <laughs> and I know I said that Instacart add-on was only six items, but like the first item was 10 loaves of bread and the second item was six things of strawberries so it's not like it's all gonna fit in one grocery bag okay and we are on some of the last items here gotta get some laxatives my boy is stopped up Let's see if we can't help him out with that there we go also i forgot to mention they need 10 of them can i say a little stopped up i'm not really stopped up well um it's not every day I have to message somebody and tell them that I'm sorry, there's not 10 boxes of stool softener laxatives, but only eight. Hopefully they're not too mad or stopped up. And uh, yeah, no pun intended, but holy shit guys, that was not it. All right, so it took me about an hour to shop for that. And uh, now for the fun part. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. I'll put the longboard up front with me though. Okay, let's roll. All right, one more dash update there. Honestly, this might be my last run, running low on battery, and it's getting to be 10 o'clock. And look, we got a couple of rain droplets coming in. So that's nice, it's gonna be nice weather. Kinda wanna call it, that way I can get some long boarding in. Mm -hmm. 
1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Thanks, Siri. I appreciate you. All right, just got done delivering that. Watch, uh, watch one of those items get reported as missing. On to the next drop off, and uh, we'll see how much battery the car has and the phone has, and we'll we'll go from there. That was to an old folks' home, which would make sense. Okay, cool. And we just kind of broke through the three hour mark on the Stride app just a like minute or two ago. I just stopped it. Looks like we used 19 miles and let's see, our battery is at 65%. It is 939 in the morning. Give me a second and I'll add all of the totals up from all of the apps and we'll do a little bit of math. By the way, before we get started, I am only about a mile and a half away from my house. So it's definitely a good place to stop. We only use 20% battery, so it's pretty good. Uh, probably gunned it a little bit more than I should have once or twice probably lost a percentage somewhere along the way but yeah it's still been pretty square as far as one percent to one mile all right so first up we got instacart here 35 dollars and 64 cents the next up we got doordash here with i believe 1625 after you subtract the 927 i didn't do that on camera that was before i actually started filming for grubhub we got 16 dollars and two cents and finally, we have Uber with $6. And there are the mileage stats for the day. So there's our total for the day. That's $24.63 an hour. And about $3.89 a mile. Not bad, pretty efficient. All right, well, that's all I have for you. I appreciate you for watching, and I hope this video was a little bit more entertaining than the last ones that I've been posting. Um, I want to do some long-distance traveling, like I said, but this heat is just insane. So if we, even if we got to get it done at nighttime, go nocturnal style, we will. Uh, I want to get some videos posted that are actually juicy, interesting. So stay tuned. I appreciate you. If you like this, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys.